had a lot of people ask me about the hydraulic controls on the old hydrocut giraffe and then we've converted them over to electric spools it's a quick video just showing you how easy and simple this system is and it's been faultless so the levers are individual blocks one two three four and it's full electric the more you pull it the quicker it goes and if things go too quick you uh, adjust this Phillips head screw on the top side and you can either speed it up or slow it down on there and if you do the screw on the bottom when you go that way you can speed it up or slow it down so each individual one you can have at your own set speed so if you need to lift it quickly but drop it slowly you can adjust everything on these two and it's a simple system and it works really well the levers are Danfoss the whole unit's a Danfoss unit and basically I can get the angle right you can just see one two three four five connections in the bottom of the box a plus a minus and three control wires we just plumbed into that socket the cable comes in it goes into the first one the plus and minus and then just loops through all of them and that's the way we go each one is individually wired you can see each individual wire there going through but if you had a you could buy a thick cable with all of them in but that's what we had at the time and it's not give us any problems you just put it through out the grommet in the back window and I'll show you the spool block here we have the spool block back of the tractor it looks like a normal spool block it's ever it's got electronic parts on the back now on the corner of each one there is a green light and basically when you operate it in the cab a green light goes on on the spool block up there so that if you think you've got a fault and something's not working if you can see a green light here you know you've got a connection to this and that uh, if you've got a fault it could be somewhere else along the line and on the front of this spool block if I can get to it there's a nut what you do here is you put a manual lever on it so if you have complete failure from the electronics then you can manually operate it now the hydraulic spool is plumbed into the tractor and the return goes into the return line in the back end of the tractor down there and that's the unrestricted return for a John Deere I'm just going to demonstrate the speed and the adjustments you could do on the spool levers so at the moment if I move this nice and steady look see how slow that's moving virtually half that again still moving very slowly and then obviously the further you push it the faster it goes and I've got mine set reasonable speed it's quicker to come up than what it is to go down as you can see and I'll just demonstrate that if you adjust screw and wind it that way and now that's as fast as it will go with the screw probably wind it a bit more if we wind it all the way the other way let's pull it back again and then flat out you can see considerably quicker so wound the screw out push it down it flies oh, 
wind the screw back. And it's really steady, as you can see, look. So if I wind it back to where I like it, which is about there, up, no, that's too quick. There we go. So that's the spool block with adjustment, showing you how much control you can get from this lever. And they're really light, you can do all four at once. This is a superb piece of kit.